Hello dear student, welcome back to the lecture series of digital electronics. In the previous video, we had discussed some of the binary codes which are used in digital communication. In this video, we are going to discuss about the gray code. Gray codes. Gray codes are given by Frank Gray, who is a physicist and researcher in AT and T Bell Laboratory. Okay, and he gives gray codes which are very useful in television communication. So let's discuss about what is a gray code and where we can use this gray code. Okay, gray codes are also known as non-weighted. codes non weighted codes because there is no positional weightage with each bit in the given data okay it is also known as unit distance code unit distance codes unit distance code in unit distance code bit patterns for two consecutive numbers differ in only one bit position that's why it is known as unit distance code and we will discuss with the help of example in this video okay in a unit distance code the bit pattern bit patterns for two consecutive numbers differ in only one bit in only one bit position that's why it is also known as cyclic code. Cyclic code. The meaning of two consecutive numbers differ in only one bit position. Let us discuss the meaning of consecutive number differ in only one bit position with one example. For example, we have one gray code. 0, 0, 0, 0. This is a one gray code and for 0 which is one decimal number and second one or next gray code for the decimal number 1 is given as 0, 0, 0, 1. This one is a second gray code decimal number 1. If you observe this both the code both the gray code then there is only one bit differ in both the gray codes and that is LSB of both the code. In the first code we have LSB is equal to 0 and all the bits remaining bits are 0. In the second code LSB is equal to 1 and remaining bits are same. Okay, So this one is known as a gray code. Let's take one more example. For example we have one gray code. We have one gray code and it is given as 0101. This is a gray code of decimal number 6. Let's take next one gray code. Next one gray code and that is 0100. This one is a gray code for 7. Decimal number 7. Okay. If you observe both this code then there is only one bit variation okay there is a third one bit there is a only one bit variation lsb is varies from 1 to 0 okay remaining three bits are same in both the gray code okay so this one code is known as unit distance there is only one bit differ in both the code okay so that's why this code is known as unit distance code okay now let us discuss now I will show you the table of gray code of decimal number 0 to 15. So this one is a table which will show you the decimal number and accordingly encoded gray codes. Okay. If you observe this table then the gray code for 0 is shown over here 000. 
okay now we will discuss the process of conversion from conversion of decimal number to gray code we will discuss in our next video okay in this video we are going to discuss only what is a gray code and why we use gray code in digital communication okay so if you observe the first one number that is zero and the gray code for zero is zero 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 then you get idea that in the second number the gray code for one is given over here and there is a only single bit variation in first two codes okay that's why this code is known as unit distance code if you observe third one code that is code for two okay two is a decimal number and the gray code for two is equal to zero zero one one that means in the second and third one code there is only one bit variation and that variation in bit number two okay in bit number two if you observe the third one bit if you observe the third one and fourth one bit then there is also one bit variation okay and the bit variation is given in the first or lsb bit okay one is converted into zero remaining three bits are same so this method is known as unit distance code so that's why this code is known as unit distance code there is one more prob property of code gray code follows one more property and that property is known as reflective property now let us understand what is the reflective property okay gray code is also known as reflected code and the property given over here is known as reflective property now if you notice then two least significant bits two least significant bits first let us i erase all this notation so you can easily identify which bits okay for example this one is a least significant bit okay first one that is least significant bit and last one that is most significant bit msb okay now if you observe the gray code of 4 the gray code of 4 2 7 gray code of 4 to 7 notice that two least significant bits for bit number uh, digit 4 to 7 are the mirror images of the bits of 0 to 3 okay 0 to 3 okay the least significant bit that is 0 1 1 0 okay it is repeat over here 0 1 1 1 okay so this bit pattern repeats after four digit 0 1 1 0 okay Similarly, the three least significant bits, three least significant bits are over here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, that is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, triple 1 and 1, 0, 1 and last one that is 1, 0, 0, okay, 1, 0, 0, that means the last or three least significant bits from 0 to 7 0 to 7 if you observe the least last three or three least significant bits from 0 to 7 is mirror image of mirror image of last three significant bits of 8 to 15 okay now let us see how it's mirror okay last three significant bits of 0 0 0 last three significant bits of 0 is mirror image of 15 of 15 okay in both these bits the last three significant bits are same if you observe the last three significant bits of 1 is a mirror image of 14 of 14 okay both the least significant bits are same last three significant bits are same in this case okay if you observe the last significant bits last three significant bits of 
last three least significant bits of two is similar to the last three least significant bits of 13. Similarly, if you observe over here, then last three least significant bits of 101 is similar to 7. And last three significant bits over here is similar over here. Okay. Now, if you observe all these bits are all these gray codes, then the bits from 0 to 7, 0 to 7 are mirror image of bits of 8 to 15. Okay. So, that that's why this gray code is also known as reflective code or reflected code. Okay. Because we get a mirror image of first 4 bit with la next 4 bit. Okay. And last 3 least significant bits of 0 to 7 is mirror at 8 to 15. Okay. That's why this code is known as reflected code. Okay. Or reflective property is satisfied in the gray code. Now let us discuss the use of gray code. So, the gray code used in the digital communication. Okay. So, for example, in digital communication, we have one transmitter station. This one is a transmission transmitter station. And the transmitter station transmit any digital message through one communication channel. And this one is a receiver station. Okay. So, when transmitter station transmit any message through this communication channel in the form of digital data then that data may occur due to unwanted signals which is also known as noise okay for example if i use 4 bit binary data 0101 okay and i want to transfer this data from transmitter to receiver or one device to another device via a communication channel okay but due to unwanted signal in this communication channel or due to noise in the communication channel the receiver receive the same message like this 0111 okay that means one binary bit change due to the unwanted signal or noise in the communication channel and the received message is wrong. Sometimes due to noise, this message can be received like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay. That means there is a 3 bit variation. Third bit, then second bit variation and first bit variation. That means there is 3 bit variation due to external external noise or unwanted signal in communication channel so binary number system may have higher probability to change the number of bits which are transmitted from transmission station okay in gray code we had discussed over here binary code is also known as gray code is also known as unit distance code that means there is only one bit pattern change in sub consecutive numbers that means if error occurs due to one bit position the other bit position of two adjacent number are always same and hence there is no possibility of errors therefore in three bit code probability of error is reduced up to 66 percent and in case of 4 bit code the probability of error is reduced up to 75 percent that's why the gray code is used in digital communication in the next video we will discuss how to convert a decimal number into binary num into gray code